Good afternoon. A class action lawsuit highlighting a major crisis for special needs students. Thanks for staying with us at 430. I'm Denise Valdez. I'm Kirsten Joy, CCSD in the Nevada Department of Education, accused of violating federal law. 8 News Now education reporter Ozzie Moore with more from an attorney and an extensive complaint, Ozzie. Kirsten, 58 pages I'm holding right here. Nine families and 12 children identified with initials on this complaint. A lawsuit creating waves in special education. A group of attorneys from across the country representing the families. Rogich Law Firm in Nevada leading the team telling me for years CCSD and the State Department of Education have failed to comply with laws designed to protect the rights of students with disabilities. It's been a constant battle. I spoke to attorney Hillary Freeman. She says this lawsuit highlights inadequate provision of special education services, lack of proper evaluations and failures to provide necessary behavioral support and so much more. They're not appropriately utilizing up to date approaches or research based approaches. And that as a result of that, the students are not learning. They're they're acting out. They're not learning to communicate and they're being excluded from school because the teachers and the school cannot meet their needs. Now, Freeman pointing out this lawsuit is not about blaming teachers. In this situation, she says teachers in the district are begging for support and the administration is denying that. I did reach out to CCSD for comment and was told the district does not comment on pending litigation. Denise. Well, Ozzy, one law firm says it does plan to hold a news conference on Monday with all of the lawyers present. We will be there and bring you the latest.